Hello, in this video we're going to be talking about the uh, basic URLs that are involved in the uh, Nebraska Libraries on the Web project, uh, some of the web pages that you need to know about, and some of the basic expectations for you to participate in the project. Um, so the first website we're taking a look at is right here. You can find it at libraries.ne.gov and I'm going to go ahead and show you one other thing there. If you just type in libraries.ne.gov into your browser and press enter, where you're going to automatically end up is at slash project blog. Project blog, as we're looking at here, is the website where all of these training videos live um, and any updates about new participating libraries, uh, updates to WordPress, um, suggestions on uh, blogging and topics to talk about, anything basically going on with the project. And as you can see here, uh, the latest one in this example is the WordPress 4.0 status update telling you that I am now currently working on recording these videos and that they'll be posted uh, uh, after our annual conference this year. Okay, so one of the expectations of participating in this project is actually paying attention to this website. Now you can do that a couple of ways. You can actually come here and take a look at it. You can subscribe to it via RSFs if you want, or if it works better for you, you can subscribe over here via email. Just type in your email address, click subscribe, and then whenever I make a new post, you can, uh, you'll can you get that in your email. And we really, really, really want you to pay attention to this website because this is where all of the news is going to be posted. Now, the next URL that you want to be aware of, and this is something I'll work with you in setting up uh, before everything gets started, is uh, the URL for your library's website. Now, all of our URLs are libraries.ne.gov slash something. So, for example, as you can see here, there's Atkinson Public Library. That's libraries.ne.gov slash Atkinson. Uh, the Republican Valley Library System, as it exists right now, is slash RVLS. Now, we do have uh, some flexibility here. For example, Emerson is Emerson Public Library, not just Emerson, uh, but I'll work with you on that. And that is going to be the URL for your live website. So just as this one is libraries.ne.gov slash project blog, yours will be libraries.ne.gov slash, and then typically the name of the town, uh, or county you represent, or possibly the name of your library if you're more known with that. The third URL that you want to be familiar with is going to be, just extend that one just a little bit, libraries.ne.gov slash name of library slash WP hyphen admin. And for these videos and for this video, I'm going to show you um, a, a slightly different example because I'm working on a test version of WordPress right now. So what I'm going to do here is instead of libraries that I think of just for this example, I'm using an IP address, but I'm going to end with WP hyphen admin. And what that is going to do is that is going to take me to the login screen for my website. Uh, you will be given a username and a password to get started with, and then all you need to do here is log in with that username and password. If you ever forget your password, you can email me, but chances are what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you to click on this link that says lost your password. It's going to ask you for your email address, and then you're going to go ahead and uh, confirm your email address uh, through a message that will be sent to you, and you'll be able to set a new password. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here, and you will see I'm now at my website with slash WP admin at the end of it. This is known as the dashboard, and there are many things that you're going to find here, and all of the videos going from this point forward are going to be focusing on things on the dashboard. Okay? The dashboard is where you do the work on your website. This is where you write your pages. This is where you write your posts. This is where you deal with comments. This is where you can change the theme, the look and the feel of your site. This is where you can change uh, content on your site. This is where you can add and remove users to your website. So if you have more than one staff person who is going to be working on it, they can do that here. So real quick, three URLs, libraries.ne.gov. That will take you to the project site that we want you to pay attention to. Libraries.ne.gov slash name of library. That's going to be your live library website where eventually once you're all set up you're going to send your users to. And then the third URL you want to remember is libraries.ne.gov slash name of library slash WP hyphen admin, A-D-M-I-N. This is where you're going to get to the WordPress dashboard and be able to do your work. I mentioned one of the uh, expectations uh, that we have, which is paying attention to the project website. And like I said, easy to do if you subscribe via RSS or email. Uh, the other expectation we have is that we do ask that you create at least one new piece of content for your website every week. Typically, this will be a blog post. 
Blog posts can be anything from, hey, here's what's going on in the library this week. Hey, here's what happened at an event last week. Here's some new books in, in our um, collection. Um, we're changing our hours for the summer or for the fall. All sorts of different things you can put into a blog post, and we'll discuss some of those in future videos. So, like I said, those are the three URL, URLs and the, expect, the few expectations that we have for you. And so now that you've watched this first video, uh, feel free to move on to the next one. All of the videos are listed on the uh, Project Blog website under Online Training. If you click on Online Training, you will get the web page that lists all of the videos, generally in the order that you want to watch them. But you can jump around if you have questions about a particular topic. Thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to uh, hearing back from you.